Okay, now that we have the Visual Studio Build Tools installed, um, the next step is to install the Microsoft ODBC driver. And that's the driver that's going to let us talk to SQL Server databases like cisdbss.pcc.edu, which is the database server that we also use in CIS 275. So I'm going to start by searching for MS ODBC download. And uh, right near the top, you should see a link to download ODBC driver for SQL Server. And uh, currently the latest version is ODBC driver 17. And so this looks like the right page to me. So there's uh, links for downloading for Windows and I'm on Windows right now. So I'll be using this X64 um, Windows link. But there are also links for other operating systems, including um, Mac and Linux. So if you're on Mac or Linux, this is where you go for the ODBC driver. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the X64 version. And then the install is pretty straightforward. I downloaded it to my downloads folder and uh, just right click and install. Take the defaults, accept the terms of the license agreement. And that's it. So one important thing though, is that um, the installation did not require a restart, but the driver actually does. So the driver will not work until you restart your computer um, and that can cause some problems. Um, if you go to test it, it doesn't work. Maybe you just needed to restart your computer. So always restart your computer after installing that particular driver. And that should be all you need.